My life is a miracle. Every child has a story of God's love to share. Shalom world, tune into God's love story. Hey, Katie! Katie? Katie? Where are you? Come and play! Katie? Sorry, kids. I'll be right back. I just have to look for Katie! 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 <sighs> Sorry, Coco. I was just... Coco? Where are you? Coco? Come and play. Oh, sorry kids, Coco must have slept in. I'd better go look for him. See you soon. Coco! Well, I couldn't find her. Maybe she slept in. Hmm. Maybe I have to try one more time to look for her. Come and play. Play with Katie and Coco. I'll be right back, kids. tongue twister from last time? I think so, Katie. Really? How did it go? Ah, uh, 12. Yeah? People. What? On a 12 bicycle and they all are twins. Um, you kind of got the main gist of it, but maybe I'll just give you a little hint. Are you ready? Yeah. Say it with me, kids. 12 twins twirled 12 twigs. Ah, now do you remember? Yeah, I remember now, Teddy. Good. Now we should try it all together, yeah? Yeah. Okay, ready? Twelve twins, twirled twelve twigs. Good job. Yeah, Teddy, yeah. Well, shall we tell a story now? Yeah, Teddy. Let's go meet one of my friends. Yeah. You might think that you have to wait until you're big and grown up to love God and to do good things, but in fact, you don't have to wait at all. My friend Dominic Savio only lived 14 years on this earth, and he still remembered almost 200 years later for his simple life of love. Even when he was very young, Dominic loved to pray, talking to God no matter what the circumstances. He knew that Jesus lived in the church near his home, so he would go to visit there all the time, even when the church was locked and he had to kneel outside in the mud and the snow. Do you think that you would wait for someone, one of your best friends in the mud and snow? I would. Really, Coco? Who would you wait for? You, of course. Oh, Coco, you're so sweet. So would I. Do you reckon you would wait for Jesus like that? I certainly would. Dominic must have been really good friends with Jesus, but... Dominic's best friend was Jesus, so that's why merely visiting the church wasn't enough. Dominic wanted Jesus to live inside of him. So when he was only seven years old, he begged to be able to receive Holy Communion, where he would be able to receive Jesus' body and his blood in the form of bread and wine at Mass. Can you remember a really, really good day that made you so happy? Maybe you can even remember a day that made you happier than you've ever been before. Oh, I have a favourite day. Really, Coco? What happened? I found the best gum tree with big long branches and shady leaves. It was so tall and had so many places of building and nests. Wow, Coco, that sounds like an awesome day. Well, Dominic's happiest day of his life was the day he received Jesus in Holy Communion. Why was that his favourite day, Katie? Why wouldn't it be? 
That was the day he got to receive Jesus into his own heart for the very first time. He loved Jesus so much that day that he wrote down four promises in his diary. He promised that he would go to confession as often as he could to have his sins forgiven by the priest and to go to Holy Communion as much as he was allowed. He also promised to make Sundays and days of the festival more special than any other days of the week. He promised to make Jesus and Mary his special friends. And lastly, he promised that he would rather sacrifice his own life than to sin. These promises helped Dominic to grow in love for God and for others, inspiring him to endure many things that would often leave other people hurt and angry. Well, one day at school, some boys accused him of putting some rubbish in a heating stove, which could have gotten them expelled from school. The teacher scolded Dominic in front of the whole class. But when he found out the truth the next day and asked the boy why he hadn't said anything to defend himself, Dominic told him that he was copying Jesus, who had also remained silent and calm when he was accused and crucified without having done anything wrong. What a brave boy. Katie, if we stay calm like Dominic did when similar things happen to us, will we be copying Jesus too? Yeah, we will. Cock amazing! Dominic was soon brought to the attention of a priest called John Bosco, who had started an organisation for young boys. He was especially on the lookout for young boys who might want to become priests like him. And he thought that Dominic had potential. When he first met Dominic, John Bosco gave him a test to see how much Dominic knew about the faith because it's important for priests to be well-educated. John Bosco himself had had to work very hard to receive his education because he was so poor. Nevertheless, Dominic did not disappoint. John Bosco had given him a whole day to report to him, but Dominic only needed 10 minutes to remember the whole text he'd been given and explain why it was so important. That's incredible! How did he do that? Dominic was very smart. That's true, he was very smart, Coco. Yet, despite his incredible intelligence, he never boasted of the fact. He knew that God had given him his great intellect and that he should not pretend that his cleverness was only due to his own merit. Therefore, he was always eager to learn more and never feared to ask questions or admit when he was wrong. Dominic was determined to please God, but this sometimes led him to push himself more than was good for him. With the wish to grow in love for Jesus and to forget his own needs, Dominic started to make his bed more uncomfortable and only to wear thin clothes in winter. But when Father Bosco found out about this, he told Dominic that while he was still a child, it was better to focus on his studies and to remain cheerful. So respecting his teacher's wishes, Dominic obeyed. However, his dream to become a priest never came to fulfillment because he soon became very sick and had to return home. Oh, poor Dominic. Was he ever going to get better? Despite the hopes of everyone around him, Dominic knew that he was not going to get better. He knew that he was soon to enter into his new home in heaven. But he wasn't afraid. Instead, he was very happy, praying all throughout his sickness to make himself ready for his new home and to offer up his pain for love of Jesus. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, he said for the last time. Oh, what wonderful things I see and off he went, off to his new home in heaven. Hooray! Does that mean he finally got to meet his best friends in person? It certainly does, Coco. He got, finally got to meet his best friends, Jesus and Mary, face to face. But what happened to Father Bosco? Well, Father Bosco was not going to let the life of his young student just go forgotten. So he wrote a book about him for this very purpose. Then many years later, he joined Dominic in heaven after having helped many young boys to improve their lives and to become priests. Thank you, St. Dominic and St. John Bosco for loving God so much that you helped many others to love him as well. Help us to never be afraid to share our love for God and to always thank him for his gifts. Please help all priests and all young boys and men who want to become priests. I am so inspired. If there were priests for birds, I would want to be one. Ah, 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 ah. Did you hear Coco? He said if there's priests for birds, you're funny, Coco. But maybe some of the boys watching might want to become priests one day. Anyway, at least you kids know now that just like young Dominic, you don't have to be wait 
You don't have to wait to be good and love God. You can do it right now. Well, how did you like that story? I loved it, Katie. Do you know what makes it even better though? What? Well, they're all good stories, but it's even better because they're stories about real people. Yeah, all my friends are real people, just like the kids and I, so I become real friends with them. Aw, oh, God, you're amazing. Hey, do you know what that reminds me of? What? T-t-t-tongue twister. T-t-t-tongue twister. Okay, okay, thank you. Ready? I'll tell you what it is and then you can repeat after me. Yeah. How many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack could pack yaks? Ah, oh, that Ready? sounds complicated, Katie. Okay, let's break it down and repeat after me. Ready? How many yaks could a yak pack pack? How many yaks could a yak pack pack? Yeah, if a yak pack could pack yaks. If a yak pack could pack yaks. Yeah, now let's try it all together. Yeah. Ready? How many yaks could a yak pack pack if a yak pack, pack could pack yaks? Good job! Yak, 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 I'm all yaked out. Is it time for craft now? Yak, it is! Yeah, let's go! yak a dak a do let's go make some craft! Katie, I want to build some, I want to craft! Yeah, let's do some craft. What are we making, Katie? Ah. Today we're going to be making a little booklet in the shape of a heart but we can write down our promises just like St. Dominic Savio wrote down his promises in his little book. That sounds cock amazing. It sure is. Let's see what we need. What's this, Coco? Ah, my hair? Um, no, I don't think you have hair, Coco. You have feathers. Oh. Is it, what else can you, do you think it is? String? Yes, yeah, string, and it's not a worm, so don't try to eat it. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> And what's this, Coco? Mm, a flag. Uh, not quite. Paper. Yes, what colour? Red. Awesome. And what's this? My brother. Um, no, Coco, just because it's the same colour as you doesn't mean it's your brother. <laughs> what is it? Paper. Yeah, white paper. And we've got these, what are these? Scissors. When we use these, Careful! Careful, because they're very sharp. And what about these? Hmm, lightsabers. Not quite. We're going to, not going to go like this with them. They're going to go like this with them. Oh, oh, they're textures. Yeah. Got some pens. And also, do you know what this is, Coco? A phone. Uh, no, Coco. It's not a phone. A hole puncher? Yeah, it's ah. a hole puncher. Ah, ah, ah. Awesome, that's all our materials. Let's get started. So, first of all, we are going to draw a heart on each paper and then cut it out. So we're gonna make a big heart so we can write lots of things on it. First of all, we're going to fold the papers in halves so we can make an even heart. So I'm gonna do them together. You can do them separately if you'd like though. So we're gonna fold it over, make the corners kiss, one corner here and the other corner over here and then flatten it down, fold it down like that. Okay, now we are, those will be our two separate sides. So now we're going to get the pen and one half of the heart here. So we're going to draw a heart, it can touch all the way to the edge and then back down in the middle like that. And then the same on the other side. There we go. Wow, Katie. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's cut that out. I'm gonna cut the two together, but you might like to do it separately. So we're just gonna cut along that line.
That looks so cool, Katie. Yeah, it's a very big heart, isn't it? Do you think you have a heart this big, Coco? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It might not fit inside you, hey? <coughs> I still think it's bigger than you. <coughs> <laughs> okay, so there is our heart. So when it folds over, it's gonna be like that. Just make that a bit neater. And then you can you can trim off can trim off any bits that don't match up. There we go. Now it's even, so that will be the booklet. Open it up like that, and you can write in there. But first of all, we've got to stick them together, don't we? So that's where our hole puncher comes in. So we're going to get the hole puncher and just carefully do it on the edges here. One here and one here. There we go. So it looks like it's only half, but when you open it out, it's a whole circle. And then we're gonna get our string. Thread one part through here. And the other end through the outside. Pull, the, pull them through. And then you can do a bow on this side, underneath. You can ask help if you if you need some help to tie it. I'm just going to tie a bow. There we go. So now that's keeping it together, and we can open up like a little booklet like this. And you can write wow. inside. Wow, Katie. You might like to label it. We should call it My Promise Booklet. So you can write down some thoughts or promises or prayers that you'd like to make, just like St. Dominic Savio did on the day of his first Holy Communion. So ready, let's write My Promise Booklet. There we go. And on the inside, to remind you, you can write I promise, dot, dot, dot. And then you can write down whatever you like inside. There you go. You can keep that in a special place and write in it as often as you like. Or maybe you can stick some things in there or draw some pictures, whatever you like. And if you'd like some more pages, you can just use some, some more sheets of white paper when you make the booklet. Then there you go your very own promise booklet in the shape of a heart. Wow, Katie, that looks nice. Yeah. Hi kids, if you'd like extra instructions on how to make this, you can find it at swpals.org. Also, I'd love to see you guys making your very own promise booklets. So you can send a photo of you with your craft and upload it on the same website. Goodbye kids, goodbye. Oh, what wonderful things I see. What do you see, Coco? Mm, I see you. And I see the kids, and I see your craft. Hey, you're right. I see wonderful things too. Do you see wonderful things, kids? You and I together, meeting my friends. What wonderful friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us every day. Katie and Coco. Hey, do you think our friends think Dominic and St. John Bosco can help me do the tongue twister? Yeah, of course they can. Let's try it now. Yeah. Do you remember it? Let's try it slowly all together. Ready? How, How many yaks could a yak pack pack if, if a yak, yak pack could pack yaks? Good job. Yeah. Wonderful. They really did help me. Good. I'm glad they did. Wonderful, wonderful. I can't wait to see the most wonderful thing ever now. <gasps> me neither. And think of all the wonderful things we can see now, though. And think of all the things, wonderful things you can write in your promise booklet. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky. See you next time, kids. Goodbye, kids. Goodbye. Oh, what, what wonderful, wonderful things, things we, we see. see. St. Dominic and St. John Bosco, help us all here below. Come and play. Play with Katie and Coco. That's the way. Get ready, let's go. Flying through the air with Coco. Telling stories with Katie. You and I together. Meeting my friends. Friends that help us every day. Katie and Coco. That help us every day. Katie and Coco. Play and sing. Pray and bring you 
way now we do our thing, it's Katie and Coco.